Today, we celebrate the feast of Saint Teresa of Kolkata. She was born Agnes on 26th of August 1910 in the present day Republic of Macedonia. Her parents were of Albanian origin and she was the youngest of her siblings. When her father died, when she was eight years old, she was extraordinarily close to her mother, who was a compassionate, pious woman. She learned charity from her mother. When she was 18 years old, she joined the Loreto sisters in Dublin, Ireland, and went to Darjeeling, India, for her novitiate training. After her first vows in 1931, she was assigned to Kolkata to teach in the girls' school. While teaching in Kolkata, she became aware of the extreme poverty around her. She made her final profession in 1938 and continued teaching in the girls' school. She became increasingly aware of the extreme poverty and suffering of the people around her. She received approval to leave the congregation and live in the city with the people to serve the poorest of the poor. By 1952, she got the help of some Hindu officials and transformed an abandoned Hindu temple and began the home for the dying in Calcutta. Gradually, volunteers came to help her and she faced financial problem of continuing the work and thought of returning to the safety and security of Loreto Convent, but she persevered and her followers also persevered and that was the beginning of a new congregation of the Sisters of Charity. From 1960 onwards, her group of sisters spread their services to different cities in India, taking care of the poorest of the poor. They started orphanages, they began colonies for patients of leprosy, they also opened destitute homes. In 1963, she started the Brothers of the Missionaries of Charity. In 1965, she started the first community outside India in the country of Venezuela. In 1976, the contemplative wing of the sisters began. In 1965, the first house outside India was started in the country of Venezuela. In 1979, she was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for the service to the suffering humanity. In 1980, she was awarded Bharat Ratna by the government. She received various awards from several countries in the world and she had an, an increasing appreciation across the world. After many years of service and travels around the world, her health deteriorated and she was often sick. She had various health problems connected with heart, kidneys, and lungs. At the age of 87, she died on the 5th of September, 1997. The government of India gave her a state funeral. 
At the time of her death, there were over 4,000 missionary sisters of charity and 300 missionary brothers of charity working in 123 countries in the world. Recognizing her heroic faith and perseverance in the service of the poor, she was declared blessed by her friend Pope John Paul II in 2003, and she was canonized by Pope Francis on the 4th of September 2016. She was a great humanitarian of the 20th century, making the gospel relevant and making the love of God visible to the world.